It's card 14. It says a win-win solution. So I will read this to you. There is strength and diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. So something comes up and you're wondering how to handle it. It is telling you right there. Okay, Gemini's. Let's get to the tarot card reading. Okay, Gemini's, the overall energy here of your reading is a Four of Wands. Beautiful card. This is a soulmate connection. Look at the 1111. It's very spiritual. There's a very strong pull towards someone here. Uh, this card is full of joy and it's full of celebration and love. This can be a card of marriage. <laughs> so let's read on. Let's find out why the Four of Wands surrounds your entire reading. Up in your highest energy is a Ten of Pentacles. I do think there's going to be a commitment here. Uh, it looks like a happy commitment. Um, for sure, this is, this is security, stability, groundedness. These are Pentacles of commitment. Wow. Th these are Pentacles of marriage. These are the two strongest energies in the entire reading. This is beautiful. So, let's read on. Let's find out why. I have the High Priestess right next to the Ten of Pentacles and right above the Four of Wands. So follow your intuition. This is the card for intuition and knowing in the tarot deck. Look at the moon right behind that spiritual person there. The High Priestess. The moon is really shining a light and it's like going deep. Go, go into your thoughts and whatever you're thinking uh, as far as moving forward or whatever you're feeling, it's probably right on the money, okay? So pay attention. Your intuitions are running very strong. Follow your head, your heart, your gut. Let them all come together and, and just follow that and trust yourself, okay? With this card being here, this is going to get you what you want. I have the Knight of Swords right next to the High Priestess. This is taking action. This is seeking the truth and clarity. So if your intuition is saying, hey, I need some questions answered, uh, get your questions answered, especially before you, you get married, okay? <laughs> if that's what's going on, or before you become committed. It doesn't have to be marriage. I have the Three of Cups under the Ten of Pentacles and next to the Four of Wands. This is a very happy reunion. There's somebody here. This is two cups being poured into one. There's so much love here. There's so much joy. It's like euphoria. And this is a card for reunions. So this person, who is your soulmate, this could be someone that you've reunited with or going to reunite with. So let's read on. I have the King of Wands right next to the Four of Wands and under the Knight of Swords. This is Fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius that might be strong in your chart or, so, or someone else's around this reading. But this is your energy and you're holding on to a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. And you're definitely thinking about this. You're, and so follow your intuition. I feel like there are some questions on your mind that you need to have answered. And uh, it's just saying, you know, follow your intuition. If you need to ask some questions answered, find, find the courage to, to ask those questions, you know, before you move forward in any relationship here. The King of Wands, very noble. Uh, all the kings and queens are very mature thinking. And you are ready for a fresh start. Uh, you just, uh, it, it feels like there is some, something you need answered, though, in your mind here. I have the Knight of Cups under the Three of Cups and next to this sun over here. Well, here's the offer. This is whoever whoever has come close to you, whoever has made, if I could talk, made the offer. This is a sincere cup of love. They're very sincere in moving forward. So if you have your doubts or uh, you just need some 
question answered in order to believe it, ask the question. Follow your intuition. They're coming in. This is a reunion with a sincere cup of love. I have the sun next to the knight of cups and under the four of wands. This is my favorite card. Fresh starts, new beginnings with lots of love and lots of joy. This is what they're offering. This is also right under the four of wands. Looks like the double whammy. you got the four of wands with love, joy, celebration, commitment, union. And then we have the sun of fresh starts, new beginnings, lots of love, lots of joy. This looks like a beautiful relationship. This looks like a beautiful time in your life that is approaching. I have the ten of wands next to the sun and under the king of wands. The burdens that you've been carrying are going to go to the wayside. This is the Ten of Wands. There's no Eleven, and look, those wands are already slipping out. So you're putting down your burdens, and you're moving forward to a, in a very beautiful relationship, it looks like. Wow, this could be somebody that you've reconnected with. Now, if it wasn't from this life, it was from a previous life. There's no real way to know... Um, for sure, if it was from a previous life, but um, that's what the cards are saying. Okay, we have an extra card here, and I will read it. So, Gemini's, I have the Four of Swords right next to the Knight of Swords. Yeah, you're doing some deep contemplation, some um, soul searching, or praying, or meditating for truth and for clarity. So, if they're if you're intuition is telling you that there's some kind of questions there's something here you need answers for uh get the answers get the answers so you can move forward don't be up in your head about it i got the nine of swords next to the four of swords so you know your imagination can really get carried away if you don't ask the questions uh you'd be surprised how many do not ask they just um I don't know why. If you have a question and you're thinking of moving forward with someone, you should ask the question and have the conversation. And if they can't handle that, then maybe you shouldn't be together, right? So don't be just up in your head about it. Don't let your imagination run away with you. You run with that sword up and ask the question. <laughs> I have the Eight of Pentacles next to the Nine of Swords. It, this has something to do with the Ten of Pentacles, with the commitment. It has something to do with wondering whether or not they can actually work on this relationship and, you know, build a future together, whether they're actually capable and really, really want to. I think you, you like, oh, do they really want to? I don't know. Can they really do it? I don't know. Maybe it's you you're worried about, whether you can really do it, whether you really want to. Whatever it is needs to be talked about. I have the Four of Pentacles under the Four of Swords and next to the King of Wands. Yeah, it is about the Pentacles. And, you know, you've worked really hard for the Pentacles that you have already. And you don't want to lose them. You don't want to give them up. You don't want to be foolish. And um, you'd like to hang on to some of that. We'll talk about it. Um, maybe you have some money, maybe you have some stocks or bonds or something that you would like to hang on to, put in your child's name or put aside or whatever you want to do with it. Talk about it before you actually become committed and let, you know, make your wishes known. Okay. Next to the four of pentacles and that's right next to the king of wands. So I, I know it has to do with the pentacles. Right next to the Four of Pentacles and under the Nine of Swords is the world. And here's your new life cycle just waiting for you to enter it. This is a, a, a very sincere, beautiful, grounded relationship that's coming in or you're already in. Okay? So entering this place of this new life cycle is going to really help relieve you of the worries that you are carrying because you're worried. I have the Strength card next to the World card and under the Eight of Pentacles. This is the card for Leo. Leo might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But the Strength card tells me that you will find the strength and courage to do what you know that you need to do. So, do it! It says you will!
you will find the strength. It's, it's just like, it's a little scary or something to ask or just talk about or, or to ask about. But you, you, you'll do it. You need to do it. I have the Seven of Pentacles under the Four of Pentacles and next to the Ten of Wands. You waited a long time for this relationship to come to fruition. Look at that bush there. It's like it bloomed, but it never bore fruit. And this person is just standing there with that basket. Empty basket waiting to pick fruit. And waiting and waiting. It's like now that it's here, um, you've got a you still got questions you need answered. I have the Page of Wands next to the Seven of Pentacles and Under the World. So this is, you know, holding that staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. But there's something brewing. There's definitely something brewing inside of you that needs to be talked about. And it's it, it starts at the feet and it works its way up and comes out your mouth. And it's all about moving forward. So yes, you are going to talk about entering this new life cycle. There's something you need to get clear uh, before you can actually do that and feel uh, secure and stable in doing it. I have the Two of Swords next to the Page of Wands and under the Strength card. Yeah, you've been blocking, talking about it. So you're blocking it. Um, you're just hoping that, I don't know, it goes away. Some, but the moon is here and it is shining the light in the dark uh, for you to wake up to, for you to see, for to be clear on what you should do. Okay, You're protecting your heart by not dealing with it. you got your swords up. you got your blindfold on. You can't even see the moon. You can't even see the light of the moon um, with this card. But you will. Because it's under the strength card, and it will brew and brew and brew until you do talk about it. You might as well just get it out. I have the two of pentacles. This is the extra card that came out. Yeah, you're, you're on a fence. It's like you're trying to stay balanced. You have pentacles in each arm. You can only stay in this position for so long. After a while, you know, you just really kind of have to do what you have to do. But you will know what you have to do. You got the strength card, which is beautiful. So the Two of Pentacles tells me you're a little off balance about this whole thing, which is beautiful in looking at. Uh, so there's something you need to clear up or say uh, that really needs to be done by looking at this reading. 